year-old Beatrice bravely sits in front of her entire school, preparing for her head to be shaved bald. Not the easiest task for a young girl with long blonde hair, but it's something she's wanted to do for a cause that means a lot to her. My sister Abby, she had leukemia, which was a type of cancer. And did she lose her hair? Yes. Uh, one of my other children had cancer and lost all her hair and somebody had donated their hair to make her a wig and Beatrice has for a long time wanted to do the same for other children. We still have quite a few people that we know that have children that are going through cancer treatments. But Black Mountain Elementary was not about to let Beatrice quietly chop off her hair. Instead, the school took the opportunity to talk to the children about cancer and celebrate this young grade 3's commitment by having other students dress up for Crazy Hair Day. And donations are coming in. The school has raised over $800 today just in children bringing in donations and coming with crazy hair. Upon hearing Beatrice would be going bald, two more students stepped up to join her team. Although they wouldn't be buzzing off their locks, these two six-year-old best friends decided to have their ponytails snipped instead. She told me it was for wigs for kids. I said, absolutely. How can, how can we say no to that, right? So it's hair, it'll grow back. And what a great big heart, and we're so proud of her. The team raised almost $3,000 in total. I was a bit very nervous. And while emotions were high, all three girls knew their efforts would make another child very happy. Um, I was thinking it was a good thing to do. I was thinking the same thing. Beatrice's sister Abby is now cancer free, and as for Beatrice, she's Black Mountain Elementary's new hero. I think it was a brave thing to do. For Castanet News, I'm Jen Zielinski.